Hello, I'm Matt and I'd like to welcome you to the channel. If today is your first visit to my channel, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell if you'd like to receive notifications like this one, which I am doing as an update to my review of my Massey Ferguson 2605H tractor. If you've seen my previous videos, you'd probably recognize this oak tree behind me and usually right in front of it is sitting my Massey Ferguson 2605H tractor which I've reviewed and I've reviewed several of the implements that I purchased either with it or after I bought it. And first I'd like to start off with that I have been very happy with the Massey Ferguson 2605. Uh, since I purchased it I've been able to use the grapple for picking up the logs and setting them on the sawmill and moving brush around the property. I've used the forks to pick stuff up to put it in the house. I really kind of missed them about three weeks ago when I was putting the cabinets in though. I've used the box blade to flatten out my driveway and it worked quite well for that. I subsequently bought a flail mower for it and I've done videos on that and it's worked great for uh, clearing up the property and clearing up some of the rows on our uh, pine forest. I've also used a stump bucket with it and cleared probably 60 or so stumps out of the property with it. So for all of those things it's worked very well. I was slightly disappointed when, before a year was up, the starter had to be replaced. It was fortunately handled by a warranty. I was also a little disappointed that the seat doesn't hold up because it's less than two years old and has a hole in it. And they're supposed to be replaced and it hasn't been replaced yet, but uh, hopefully it will be by the time I get my tractor back. A little bit more than three weeks ago, I went out to the tractor to crank it up to uh, move some implements on the property while I was mowing. and. When I got on the tractor, it um, made a noise like the uh, tractor was in gear because it beeps if it's in gear when you go to start it. Uh, so I check and it's not in gear. Uh, the emergency brake set, I can't quite figure out why it's beeping at me. So I you know, hold my hands up over the uh, uh, indicator lights on the dash of the tractor because you can't see them in the daylight. And I see a indicator light on. So I go in and I break out my manual and I look at it to make sure what indicator light I'm looking at because they're all just symbols. And it indicates that there's low oil pressure, which I thought was kind of strange because I changed oil not too long ago. So I go and I pull the dipstick on it and uh, am quite surprised when I see oil and water. So that had me quite concerned. So I contacted the dealer that I bought it from and they sent out a technician to look at it. And uh, once they looked at it, uh, they decided they were going to take it into the shop and, you know, uh, fix it, you know, because it's still under warranty. The motor's warrantied for five years. So they finally get over here, pick it up, take it out, and the, the dealer that I'm dealing with it, uh, had a death in the family, so, you know, I, I'm being as patient as I can be with them. Uh, I guess it was a, a person related to the business. So. After about three weeks, you know, I get a hold of him again, and uh, the person I'm talking to is from the parts section, and he says, you know, uh, the company's going to replace the motor. And I'm thinking, well, that's a good thing in a way, and a kind of concerning thing in another way, because, uh, you know, the warranty's only good for five years, and it ain't even two years old, and now they're replacing it, which gives me some concern about the motor they put in it because it's going to be the same type of motor, I'm sure. So uh, he, he tells me that, you know, I need to, uh, you know, they'll have the uh, service guy call me the next day. So a couple days go by and I call and the guy says, hey, the good news is they're changing the motor. The bad news is it's going to take probably at least a month before you get your tractor back. Well, now at this point, they've had my tractor for about three three weeks. And like I say, I, you know, I could be understanding about the death in the family. And I, I, you know, I know how those things go. I've had a few in my own. Uh, but then to hear Massey Ferguson is going to take, you know, at least another month to get the motor here and get it in my tractor. And, you know, that's going to make two months, you know, total before I actually, you know, from when they picked it up till, uh, you know, when I'm supposed to get it back. I was a little bit concerning. So I inquired a little bit more and he reminded me that the tractor was made in India and that the motor would be coming from India so it was going to take a little while. When I first started looking at tractors, uh, the two uh, brands that I was really kind of looking at were Yanmar and Massey Ferguson. 
And Yan Mars are assembled in Georgia, I'm, from what I see on the websites. And I didn't know at the time that the Massey Ferguson that I bought isn't really a Massey Ferguson, uh, but it's manufactured for them in India. And I really didn't think about getting parts from India uh, for my tractor. You know, just something that I never even thought about. But the biggest reason that I ended up going with the Massey Ferguson over the Yanmar at the time was the closest Yanmar dealer was in Gainesville and there's a uh, Massey Ferguson dealer uh, here right in Lake City. So I figured at the time that it would be better to you know have a dealer closer by in case I needed some work on it or some warranty issues taken care of so they'd be closer by than being you know an hour away. I never really thought about the parts you know I'd kind of thinking right now the parts coming from Georgia uh, would probably get here a little bit quicker than parts coming from India. My goal with this channel is to uh, create a community where we can communicate about different items that you know we decide to buy and use and so that we can do reviews of them so people can make a little bit better purchasing decisions. And I did watch a lot of videos before I bought my tractor and you know I thought I had a little better handle on it but this is just something I didn't think about. This is a video I really never wanted to have to do about a product that I reviewed. Uh, because I, I like to be positive in life and I know we all you know buy things and you know sometimes we're a little disappointed uh, like I am in this case to some extent. Uh, one of the things that was told to me was that it didn't matter really which color that you know of tractor that you buy you know you can you know buy a green one or a blue one or a red one and all of them have different issues and, and I'm sure they're probably right about that. I'm also kind of curious if other people have had similar uh, experiences with Massey Ferguson, or if there's a company out there that uh, makes a much more reliable tractor, uh, because you know this one has me a little bit concerned, and I really don't know that I'd want to keep it past the five-year uh, warranty on the uh, powertrain, because replacing a motor, uh, you know, I've, I've replaced a motor in a car a few years ago, and it cost me almost six thousand dollars. I can't imagine what replacing a motor on a you know a diesel motor on a tractor would cost me. So if you've had a better experience with a company. Please let me know in the comments section. If this is normal throughout, you know, other companies that you know other people have dealt with, because Massey Ferguson is the only company that I've dealt with for a tractor. Uh, please let me know that as well. You know, if they're all the same, then you know what's the point in getting a different tractor. But if they're not all the same and there's a better option out there, uh, it may be better for me to uh, sell this tractor and uh, buy something a little bit more reliable. One of my goals with this channel is to do periodic updates on the equipment that I buy. A lot of times we buy a piece of equipment based on a review that we saw, but it might be a review that's a couple of years old. And over those couple of years, a person may have, you know, learned some things that he didn't put in the original video. So my goal with this channel is to do annual uh, updates to the equipment that I review. And then anytime there's anything major that's happened, kind of like this with a piece of equipment, I want to do an update so that a person doesn't uh, specifically make a purchase based on a recommendation that I've given. My goal with every review that I do is to do an honest review of the good, the bad, and the ugly of anything that I purchase. And like I said in the beginning, you know, up until now I've been really pretty happy with it other than a couple of little issues that I had. Uh, but anything new that you buy you can have some issues with, which I mentioned in the previous video. Uh, so if you do like my content, please hit the like button. Uh, if you think my content can be useful to somebody else, please share. Uh, if you want to get updated notification, you know, notification so you're updated anytime I do an update on a piece of equipment that I've reviewed, uh, please hit the notification bell. If you've had a different experience with a company, or maybe this company, maybe you've had a great experience with Massey Ferguson, I'd like to hear about it. Uh, if you've had a great experience with another company, I'd like to hear about it. Leave a comment in the comments section. If this is something that is just you know normal with tractors that you know people have, you know, cause like I say, this is the first tractor that I've or first new tractor I've ever bought. Uh, please leave a comment in the comments section and let me know. If this isn't normal in the tractor market. Please let me know that as well. Would really like to thank everybody that has liked and subscribed and sent comments about the equipment that I've reviewed and other videos that I've done because I do videos on birds and other things because they're all things that I enjoy doing and I like to put that stuff out there that somebody else might enjoy watching. 